Look, I hope we now know this is not a political issue. This is about saving lives. I know it's become a partisan issue, but what a stupid, stupid thing for it to happen. This is a patriotic act. We're asking you, we're in a war with this virus. And experts say and have shown that wearing a mask from now until April will save as many as 50,000 lives. Quite frankly, it was shocking to see members of the Congress while the Capitol was under siege by a deadly mob of thugs refusing to wear a mask while they were in secure locations. I'm so proud of my congressman right here in the state of Delaware, Lisa Brunt Rochester, trying to hand out masks while people are lying on the floor, huddle up, and a Republican colleagues refusing to put them on. What the hell is the matter with them? Four members of Congress to date, including a cancer survivor, now have COVID-19 who are in those rooms. For God's sake, wear a mask, if not for yourself, for your loved ones, for your country. These are real matters of life and death.